It's Sunday, May 5th. Week 82 is the fifth week out from the last time I started reaccumulating stress. And this was a very, very stressful week. Everything felt really heavy, even though it's in gratuitous amounts of volume. I rated the Tuesday workout as a, an RPE 9.5, like the whole session. That was a crazy hard session. Usually I don't come out of any one particular training day thinking that I barely could have done any more work because that's generally not the way you'd want to program anything. Uh, but that day was one of them. And the rest of the week showed it. I had to back off of my pressing. Tempo squats were brutal. I actually skipped my pressing entirely on Saturday because I was just, it was all gone. And then the deadlift volume couldn't happen. I just had to do a triple, a really light triple. It was all gone. I think what'll happen next week is I'll deload. How I'm gonna deload, I'm not sure yet. Because I'm coming from a place of doing a lot of volume, I would love it if I could reduce the volume and continue the intensity. Next couple of weeks would be less volume, more intensity, and I would do that for a few weeks until I continue to just taper down stress and then end up in a little peak. I don't really know how it's gonna play out, but that's the plan. Having said that, this will be the second time that I've kind of found myself in a block of training of any kind. It's not something that I premeditatively decided, hey, here's how my training's gonna go. I just knew that I was continuing to increase work capacity and at some point that stops working. So these last two experiments around five or six weeks is where all that stress carries over too much and it becomes a problem. I'll see how this one goes, if I can predict it right or not. Either way, it's going to be a learning experience. Whatever I learn, I can apply that to future blocks. And the first time that I actually attempt to make a block of training, whether that be three, six, nine, 12 weeks, whatever, I'll be able to set at least some pretty good hypothetical guidelines as to where I would expect myself to be. On a side note, I think my supplemental lifts are getting a lot better. Close grip bench I need to work on, but pause benching is really helping me. The RDLs I finally got the hang of. I really think I nailed it. Tempo squats, man. Especially the way that I'm doing them. The three second descent and the pause at the bottom and then a fire up. It's tragically difficult, but that's good. Hopefully I can continue to drive intensity and decrease this volume. I wanna be able to turn this volume into more intensity. I, I miss the intensity. I think for the last, I mean, many, many months, I've been doing stuff like six sets of four, seven sets of four, four sets of five, even four sets of four on a squat. I mean, that, I would still consider that moderate high volume. So if I can get back to something like, you know, two triples and peak up to singles, doing singles again, this is the reason why I would want to do that is to get the different adaptation. I mean, the, the whole purpose of going back to less volume, more intensity is because I've been doing more volume for a long time. I feel anyway like I have adapted to that as much as I can without paying too much in diminishing returns. So we'll see what happens.